YouTube, hello, welcome back to Legends Arceus. As you can see, the team's been updated a bit. We acquired a Ghastly. I'm thinking we might have a Gengar on the squad, you know? I don't normally get to use one because I don't have friends to trade Pokemon with. Not the case in this game. Uh, finally got an Eevee. Little bastard stopped running away from me. Or at least I prevented him from running away. However it happened, I have an Eevee. Still have Krogunk, still have Pen, still have Scyther. You might wonder, why is there a Badoo on my team? Switch fell asleep. Uh, yeah, so I have a mission to, like, research Roselia, but I can't find that thing to save my life. What I can find in spades is Badoo. So uh, I'm keeping him around until he evolves into Roselia, which is a friendship one, of course. And then uh, we'll work on the Pokedex from there. But anyway, we have a bunch of side quests to turn in. Because I did some work off stream. For example, I got medicine for these guys. You found a cure for my Psyduck. Well, no. Unfortunately, I can't make him a better Pokemon. But I did fix their headache. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at him. Look at him, Pog. Wow, the Psyduck look all better already. What a relief. Thanks for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team before. But you're the sort of folk that are kind enough to help out total strangers, I guess. I had no reason to worry. There was definitely a comma in that sentence that I uh, ignored. Uh, what did you call that stuff again? Secret medicine? Secret medicine is the... Uh, or no, that's a secret potion, I think, in Gen 2 that you give an Ampharos. Gosh, Galaxy Team must be talented. Maybe I'll visit you all in Jubilife sometime. The headache-stricken Psyduck. All right, I also need to, uh, I need to head, map, please. I need to head back to camp because I have, hey, chat, I have enough wood. I actually got enough wood. I know. Hold the applause. I found wood. I have enough of it. We can craft things. I also can craft the other thing, and, um, I took care of... They had me investigate. There was that one girl who's talking about a red wisp out in the uh, the mountains. Turns out it was a chimchar. So, uh, yeah. Son of Frontiers. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, turns out it was a chimchar. Not gonna use it because I have a Quillava. But, I mean, it's a free chimchar. Were you who I think? I feel like it was you. Yeah, the Willow Wisp. It was this little guy. There we go. What's a fire type doing here in Sinnoh? Uh, it's the one fire type they have. What do you mean? Well, two. They put two in the game, I think. A Pokemon? I'm certain what I saw was a Will-O-Wisp. I should look at the Pokemon at night, if you say so. Oh, f fuck off. All right. Well, uh, in that case, crafting. Bugene, how's it doing, you handsome devil? Uh, there's the crafting table. All right. I need to... Uh, these are thrown items, healing items, other items. Okay, there we go. Make a Poke doll. Beautiful. You've made a Pokeshi doll. Sent it to item storage. Hell yeah. Hey! Uh, it's in item storage. Fuck. And why is the item box all the way over here? Son of a bitch. It'll happen one day? Oh, undoubtedly. I will certainly play Sonic Frontiers one day on stream. Why did you put them in the item storage when I had... Okay, whatever. Sure, fine. Had the room. Just decided not and dumped it in my, uh... Item box for no reason. Making me run around like a jackass. Also, why isn't there an item box, like, right here, huh? This is the crafting station. Surely that would make sense. What's this? It's a Pokeshi doll, or Pokeshi doll, if I ever saw one. Please, let me have a closer look. Amazing. Look how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attent attentive carving shows you put love and care into the handiwork. And these colors. You've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes! These hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention this doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, yet it stubbornly remains upright. Whew! 
Got a little weird with that. This <laughs> fucking... I don't know. He seemed like he had the passion, but it was just in the wrong spot. Thank you. I've savored your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. Don't, don't let me know what you do with my doll, all right? You can just put it in a jar, do whatever you're going to do with it. We use the same recipe, yet your Pokeshi doll is a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made. I took great care in crafting it, so have a look and see how it's different from the one you made. I did it. I don't know how, but I did. Three pieces of wood. Alright, uh, the other one was this guy. Yeah, I think he wanted, like, three hearty wheats, which I have. Oh, yeah, the fucking Bweasel, by the way. I, I can't, for the life of me, find a tall Bweasel. Oh, hey. Let's grab that while I'm here. Cannot find a tall Bweasel to save my life. Wait, what? Uh, oh, Cherim, you're the you're the asshole. Also, speaking of things I can't find to save my goddamn life, Cherim, you know how many goddamn trees I've rammed my fucking Pokemon into, and they're like, nah, son, it's impossible. Cherim doesn't exist. I got I gotta do the Ponyta one. That's at night. That's the Wisps. That's what I need to turn in. I I assume that's an Oddish, but I can't find one anywhere. The search for bitter leaves. It's a Pokemon with three leaves. In Crimson Mirelands. I mean, maybe it's... I can't think of what it could possibly be. It's It's gotta be Oddish, right? It's not a Badoo. It's not a Carnivine. It's gotta be Oddish. Uh, right. Bring me this guy. We'll check out the Ponyta, and then we'll continue the main story. He's all the way over... Oh, for God's sakes. We need the big weasel. We certainly do. No impressing him without it. Eugene. This town would crumble without Eugene. He is carrying the... We have a basement? And more things to do. Of course we do. Uh, yeah. What is it? Play... Uh... Hey, uh... Hey, uh, Professor, uh, yeah, uh, friend here, token. Um, no. Miki from Security Corps can tell you more. Speak through and get to the bottom of this. For those of you that don't know, uh, Drifloon, rather canonically and as a meme, likes to kidnap children. So, uh, that's a concern. You're the guy that wants wheat. Uh, here's Choi's Aaron girl. Who the fuck is this guy? Don't waste your breath. I got nothing to sell to him in his store, and I go on scurry. Best for me for goods when I'm already tearing my own hair out to get hardy grains. Sheesh. What? You got hardy grain? Would you let me have some? Please, just three stalks. Sure. Ah, hearty grains, the Crimson Mireland's finest feature. The sway of the golden brown stalk across the landscape, it fills me with a yearning for home. I'd wager if you combined hearty grains with other ingredients, it'd bring out tasty aromas that would make Pokemon gather round. All right, I won't send you back a failure since you so kindly brought me hearty grains. Tell Troy I'll set him up with some new wares. All right, go. Cool. All right, so we have to help a kid get kidnapped and, uh... Oh, three leaves. I guess it might be a sun current. Well, that's only two leaves, though, eh? It's got the stalk and the two leaves coming off it. I don't know. When I when I hear Pokemon with three leaves, my first thought is always and immediately Oddish. Oh, we got new goods in stock. Thanks to you. Sorry you had to deal with all this. Uh, Teo Hua? I, I, I mean, that's Teo. I have no idea. Hua? Ha? And I have some complications before. Ah, messy breakup. Got it. But thanks to you, I've got excellent new items to offer. Do buy some. All right. That was beneficial, I imagine. Uh, Trito, so. Uh, Drifblim, or Drifloon, rather. Playing with Drifloon. And then we'll do the Ponyta, and then, uh, continue on with the main story. Is that supposed to be Sharon? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Okay. 
I was wondering where this person was. It's like, oh, they hadn't popped in. I see. Battle Royale, you got it. <laughs> where are you dropping, boys? Oh, right here? Excellent. Alright, good luck. May the best Avatar win. Hopefully, it's me. Uh, you've accepted my request to look into the Drifloon. I can't tell you what a big help that is. I'm filling in. We'd heard reports that Drifloon was playing in one of the villages. Uh, with one of the village children, excuse me, over on Prelude Beach in the evenings. It's like, odd behavior for Pokemon. So us in the Secure Score worried uh, its true intentions were harming the child in some way. A Drifloon? No, never. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for. We went to check on them. But one thing was curious. None of them seemed to know anything about a Drifloon. But, well, so many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon. We simply can't pretend there isn't an issue. It calls for some investigation. I hope the survey cord would be our best shot. So, yeah, in the evening. I guess I'll lie down for the evening since i got two things to do here at night now. All right, who's left in the battle royale? Up. Uh, Arg's putting the work in. It's down to him and Toon Link. Where is my... Ah, Toon Link 1. Rip Arg. So close to victory. And then you all pop in over the cup. I think this is where I stay. Slash hope this is where I stay. Thank goodness. Uh, until evening. Alright. <laughs> Good transition. So now it's evening, uh, let's go check on Driftloon, and, I mean, hopefully I can... Nah, it needs to be night for the, uh, the Will-O-Wisp. God, I wish I could ride around on my Pokemon in town. The town is big enough that I would like an option to move around faster, other than just sprinting. But, uh, man, are they, uh, they're not handing out bikes in this game. No roller skates to be had. Uh, I think that's it for high-octane movement options in Pokemon. Got your bike, you got your roller skates. To ride on? Uh, you know, didn't exist yet. Both in canon and in this universe. Survey Coral Lady, over here. Yeah, this is concerning. I want to go home, but Drifloon won't let go. Yeah, that sounds right. Can you help? Can do. Again, if you're not familiar, likes to kidnap children. There he goes. Yay, I can finally go home. Drifloon didn't mean to be bad. It always played with me. It's real friendly, so I kept it a secret from everyone. My name's Taki. See you around, Coral Lady. Did you do the Battle Royale? I did the Battle Royale. Toon Link 1. Report back to Miki. And there wasn't a second Battle Royale, so, you know. Toon Link is unfortunately one of my bots, though, so. Shovel Knight and Toon Link are bots. Yeah, I know. The bots won. The battle royale's rigged. I see you've been looking into the worrisome drift loom for us. What have you found out? Can't believe this. I know. I know. I see. So Taki was trying to keep the drift loom from getting into trouble. All the same, he was in considerable danger. Without his help, goodness knows where drift loom would have taken him by now. I'd be remiss if I didn't follow up on this troubling incident. I'll urge Zisu to post extra security gate around Prelude Bre uh, Beach once. But I'm thankful the situation resolved without any harm. Thank you truly for helping us keep everyone safe. Oh good, no one was kidnapped in that. You love, you love a happy ending. Alright, now. Change it tonight, show the Chimchar to the lady, do the Ponyta thing, main story. We're getting there, we're getting there. Are you Sharon's ancestor? I guess you could be. You have glasses. The hair's all wrong for it, though. 
Normally, they like to make the hair pretty obvious uh, as a tell of who the ancestor is. The hair's totally right. Uh, uh, black or black and white or black and white too, because he has different hair in those games. Oh, I have the the polka doll on my uh, my shelf there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, until nightfall. Sharon's a Gen 4 Galactic Admin. Oh! Is he? No. Sharon is, um... The... First gym leader in Black and White 2, right? That's Sharon, unrelated. Oh, well. You'll forgive me. Uh, I mean, if you say so, for the, uh, Galactic Admin, the scientist guy... He was more of a thing in Platinum, and I only ever played Platinum once, so. Didn't ever see him in uh, Diamond and Pearl, really. Anyway, hey, uh, got your uh, fire monkey. Ah, oh, look at his butt. That look familiar to you? Oh, about right. That fire hazard right there. That is definitely a fire hazard. That's it. The little lisp I saw, all right. So it was a Pokemon all along. In any case, you caught it just like you promised. Survey Corps are a talented bunch. Now I have to explain the whole thing to Waka somehow. Just tell him the Albed did it. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. Even though I came for the Shining Force to check out another token stream. How's everyone doing? Thanks so much, fellas. Love to have you. Oh, will the wisp! Oh, no. Save me, sis! Ah! Well, anyway, that's the job done. Thanks a bunch. We're playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. It wasn't, uh, obvious. Alright, now that that's done, one more side quest that I can do at this point. Or at least, you know do with any amount of urgency and uh, progression. And it's the peculiar ponyta. And then we can uh, move on to the actual plot. Where the hell? Okay, he's over here. Came here for Shining Force, but decided to stay. 7-9, you've been here for... Fuck, ages. I forget what the first thing I was playing that you showed up at. Danganronpa? Forgot how long you were here. Yeah, no, a lot of you have been around for a while. Hear about the Ponyta request. Glad to have some help at last. Here's the problem. Ponyta like no one's ever seen before has appeared in the Horseshoe Plains. It's actually a giraffe rig. It's crazy. Looks so different from other Ponyta. It's a little scary, to be honest. But when I told the professor, he got all excited about researching it. So he agreed to have Ponyta surveyed and see what's what. If you had to the Horseshoe Plains and catch that strange Ponyta for us, it'd really help us out. Eh. Press X to doubt. One day, I feel like they're... A, I have a chat member who talks a lot about uh, L.A. Noir, but uh, B, I feel like one day we're just going to have to play L.A. Noir on stream for the meme. At least two days. Uh, Danganronpa or Disco Elysium? That was... You were Disco Elysium, Ark. A mass outbreak of Pachirisu. Oh, fuck. Everyone's... Everyone's dream. Squirrels. What was that? Oh, God. This is going back a ways. What was that early internet meme? It was like, um... The angry squirrel that looked like it was drawn by Joan and Vasquez. And he would, like, sing songs. There was one called, like, You Fucking Bastards. It was, like, Twitchy the Squirrel or something like that. That is, uh, that is some early, like, E-Bombs world shit. That is pre-YouTube internet, that was. You're old? Yeah, I know. I know. I feel like it was Twitchy the Squirrel. I might be wrong about that. I think it was definitely something the Squirrel. You know, I feel like the Bweezels are here to taunt me at this point. That is their entire existence. 
And they've left. Or were they ever there to begin with? I don't recall. What I do know is I don't have a goddamn weasel that's 2-8. The closest I have is 2-6. Not ringing a bell. I mean, it's... Like I said, this is pre-YouTube internet. I don't expect everyone to know what I'm talking about. Anything... Uh, pre-YouTube internet is, uh... Gonna be niche. With the exceptions of, like, Homestar Runner and the, uh... The G.I. Joe, uh, edits. That have a name that I'm blanking on. I'm also going completely the wrong way. Whatever that name was for the, uh... Oh, Ponytown's cute. The, uh, the G.I. Joe edits. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Love that. Yo, fucking, uh... That's a shiny ponytail, that is. Uh, what was his name? The No Goodniks? It was, uh... Boris... Uh, Badenov? Boris something or other. God, Foamy the Squirrel. It was Foamy the Squirrel. There it is. Foamy the Squirrel. I remember that asshole. Catch the Strange Ponytail. Well, where the fuck did it go? Oh, okay, it's over there. <laughs> Here's about a Ponytail, unless it's to impress a diamond. I mean, seems like it would impress him. It's a fucking shiny Ponytail. Ponytail is one of the... We found his mom. It is one of the better shinies, so it's kind of cool they... I mean, this feels scripted. What with, you know, it being a fucking mission and everything. But, uh, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if, uh... Or it is kind of cool if they just give you that one for free, since, uh... Ponytail is such a good shiny. They have a live-action movie? Yeah, there is a live-action movie of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, starring... Jason Alexander as Boris Badenov, I believe. I think it was Badenov. It was like Natasha Badenov and Boris Badenov. I'm blanking on the names of the, the last names of the bad guys, but it was Boris and Boris and Natasha. And uh, the live action movie uh, sucked, actually. It was. Slightly better than the live-action uh, Dudley Do-Right movie starring Brendan Fraser. Shout out to Dudley Do-Right. I was also a big fan of Fractured Flickers, which is uh, same animation company. Or same animation team, I guess, that was doing... But it was, I think, a little before Rocky and Bullwinkle they were doing that. The running gag that's ingrained in my brain from that is, uh, Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. It's like, that trick never works. It's always wrong. He always gets it wrong. Pulls himself out of the hat. Pulls, like, a Rocky out of the hat. Pulls another hat out of the hat. Somehow, he never pulls a rabbit out of the hat. Of all the damn things in that hat, there's never a rabbit. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for the raspberries. Solved your ponyta problem. All right, let's do the main story now, shall we? This time for sure. Presto! No doubt about it, I gotta get a new hat. Uh, VHS. That's how I watched... The, of the Rocky and Bullwinkle I saw, that was how I watched it, on VHS. That was, like, my father's VHS, because he had it when he was in college. Because it's an old show. Galarian Ponytail. <laughs> that would have been funny, actually, if it was a Galarian Ponytail instead of a Shiny. That's probably, honestly, what people were expecting. It's like, oh, it's a different-looking Ponytail, so, you know. Galarian had just come out, and it's like, ah, oh, an easy way to introduce Galarian. Right? It's like, wrong, Shiny, for free, have it. Haven't done that since Gyarados in Gen 2. All right, well, we're here, finally. On to the main story. 
reference. Ah, oh, fuck, Galarian Ponytail. Just then, I was mashing through the dialogue. I was kind of reading chat and reminiscing about Rocky and Bullwinkle. It's, it's how I fell into the river and nearly drowned as well. What we're learning here is I'm not a functional enough adult to be doing more than one thing at a time, but, you know. Honestly, if we hadn't learned that by now, I think you're watching the wrong streamer. Alright, what have we here? Who the fuck is this kid? Old person? What are you? I'm Kalaba of the Pearl Clan. Warden Kalaba to you. Ho! Oh, now would you look at that? You have a PVC pipe. You must be the one they say fell from the space-time rift. That's right. I learned long ago not to expect good gameplay here. Thanks. I see, I see. I already heard about you. That you quelled Cleavor in his frenzy. You know I beat Dark Souls randomized, right? Good gameplay. That the thing with three leaves? Oh yeah, this bitch, maybe. Uh, you quelled the Cleavor in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. No one died and he calmed down. What the fuck do you mean? What do you, you think we should have shot him? What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon to submission, after all. I'm about to bully you into submission, you geriatric old woman. And you run around catching Pokemon in those little balls you carry. Yeah. I don't need any help of your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. The young lady Arezu offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. Yo, I bet I could beat your B-Barrel in a fight. Is that what this is about? There's much I must do, and I'd prefer not to be distracted any further. Also, you're like half my size, and I'm 15 years old. I could just dropkick you and shatter every bone in your body. Dogen, how about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Gladly. The love of mod for this game, I mean, they exist. Switch is, or Switch, is uh, real easy to uh, emulate. Cough, cough. That was black and white, but it's Big Red, you died like in Dark Souls. One of my favorite Dark Souls mods is uh, when you die, uh, it says, thanks, Obama, instead of, you died. Yeah, good old Team Diamond. A battle with you might leave me experienced even a fraction of the power that the nobles wield. So do you just have one Togepi again? No, he's got two Pokemon. All right, Volo, let's do this. All right, it's still Togepi, though, so... You might as well just have one Pokemon. All right. Any way I can... I can't, uh... Since I can't move first anyway, uh... No matter what I do here. A little strong style Ember. Agile style, oh no. Oh yeah, it's a fairy in this gen. I forgot about that. Get some good angles on this. You son of a bitch. How dare you make out with my Quilava. Uh, just do flame wheel normal. Toga Kiss is like reverse Garchomp. It's true, it hard walls that shit. Speaking of, here's a Gibble. Alright, would uh, you know, like to swap my Pokemon out? What the fuck was that? Uh, God, you don't have Levitate. Uh, you do. Or your Flying type, which is the same thing. I guess even if they did have abilities, uh, Ghastly Line doesn't have, uh... Levitate anymore. They've got some other shittier ability, right? Only hardcore set mode, apparently. That's honestly, I prefer set mode, but you know, I would have liked the Gibble to come out and then I had a chance to do something before he immediately bulldozed. Only Gengar doesn't have Levitate, the earlier ones still do. Oh, okay, right. Still, though, shame about Gengar and his new crappy ability. Whatever it is. Can evolve, speaking of. Such prodigious strength. Now, let me just heal up your Pokemon. Thank you. 
It's only polite after all. Well, now I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. Uh, wall frag? Who, who steals a wall? What? With your skill, it should be a cinch. I have not been paying attention. Yeah, wait, what? It's a wall fragment. Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Was it the fucking Berlin Wall? Come on now. <laughs> Gee, what what part did they take? It's like top right or uh, have you not heard of the notorious Misfortunes? One of my favorite fighters from Skullgirls, and that's the only joke I could make about that on the fly. There are a trio of bandits that even hit us, the Ginkgo Guild merchants, more than a few times. People stealing from stores? No. Say it isn't so. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Miss Kalaba is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but at 99 years old, she'll be dead in three minutes. So, we're not holding out a lot of hope for success. It's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. I know, 99. She's almost as old as me, right, Chet? Uh, so what do you say, kind madam? Why not help us find the fragment for the warden? <laughs> She's a degenerate, got blocked. All right, auto mod, sure. Sure. Can't be calling women degenerates there, 7-9. That's just too risque. <laughs> You're not that old. Thank you. Finally, someone said that. Uh, oh, naturally, I'll be happy to lend you a hand. It's spelled degenerate differently. Those sisters uh, swiped my wares, too, and I'm no ginkgo merchant if I take that lying down. And far be it for me to let them just get away with vandalizing precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Meyerlands. Oh, I've run into that a few times. Perhaps it's worth checking out. Just in general, running back and forth, I encountered that on more than one occasion. But I mean, I assume it's on my map, so... Yeah, it's over there. What is this music? Okay. Come on, I'm there, please, game. Come on, okay, well... Rip me. Drowned to death right there. Alright, chat, what did we learn? Fucking nothing- Oh, God. We learned less, actually. I keep thinking Y is dash and B is jump. Alright. So now what have we learned? Other than that uh, the Pokemon really like watching me uh, just drown myself. There we go. Beautiful. Nailed it in three. Did you find a way to get wood or are you still doing the woodless run? No, I got wood. Sorted that problem out. can't swim. I think you later you get the you get a Pokemon that can like ride on water. It's a burnout campfire. Someone must have been here. Now who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. Oh. <laughs> I recognize a couple of you. Uh one on the right is uh a galactic admin, very definitely. The one on the left is, uh, Candace, and I do not recognize the one in the middle. There's only one reason person would go poking around here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Bertha? Oh, maybe. Could be. Could be Bertha. Before we show uh, this poor fool how wrong she was to assume she could ever beat us. Uh, I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone who crosses our path. I'm the eldest. I'll be your unlucky charm. So what were you doing before they were born if you're the oldest and your whole thing is support? I uh, thought you spotted a four-leaf clover. Well, I'll soon have you seeing double. What? My name's Clover. Oh, you probably should have just said that. I'm the middle sister. I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win, tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. So, did your parents hate you, or did you think that was cool, that naming thing? We're the infamous bandit trio, the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. 
My man of the sisters only hurt her a little. Come on, Toxicroak. I fucking straight up Toxicroak. Let's douse this fool in poison. Feels rehearsed a little bit. Little getting some Ginyu Force vibes here. Well, shit. Straight up Toxic Rogue. Oh, I also wanted to evolve my, uh, uh, Ghastly. Uh, roll out, baby. Not very. Oh, right. Rock, not ground. My bad. Uh, swap Pokemon. Uh, okay. It's probably gonna use Poison again. Uh... I got Mud Bomb. That's a that good gameplay I've come to expect. Listen, I thought it was a ground move, all right? Never mind the fact that it says rock on it. How are you a level 23? I'm level 26 and I can't evolve. Maybe there's something I'm missing, I don't know. Uh, Mud Bomb. I, I can go twice with it. Fucking cool, thanks. Okay, uh, we'll try that again. Just to make up for lost time, uh, strong style it. Mirror match. Kinda. Oh, there's a wisp back there. But I can't cross the water, so, eh. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's better than plowing the fields of the galaxy team. I mean, I'll agree with you on that. Fuck being a farmer, dude. When you could be like a cool bandit trio of sisters? Hell yeah. Beats farming. Galaxy team continues to spoil things for me even after I've left. Blasted, f Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. Yay, I got wall. A fragment that was once part of a stone panel in the Celestion Ruins. It has markings carved on it that appear to be some kind of writing. Letters, one might call them. The weird writing made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure. But it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? I was asked to. Uh, Ursa Luna or Cabal? Well, obviously Ursa Luna. Reminds me of Brock's Krogunk, uh, wrecked Saturn's Toxicroak. Eh, say so. But didn't really watch the anime after, uh, the third series. Goodness, how selfless of you. Just so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to sell with the Galaxy Team, which now includes you! Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it in days of spring beneath soft, careless sun, the bottomless tremble and fall, or the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? I don't even know what you said, so I'm just going to say 12. The answer's 12, right? Your days are also numbered. Ah, shit. That's like less than two weeks I just gave myself. Fuck. Uh, 1,200. I meant to say... Okay, well. I bet they heard me. They seem like they're going to respect me. All right, uh, let's evolve. Do it. I put more of a fight with the clear of her speech and all. I feel like they're going to be back and, uh, you know, time for round two. Answer's always 42. That's true. What is six times seven? For example. I also had to learn this is how you change their moves. Like, it doesn't say I want to overwrite something. Hypnosis. Ew. And my chat got disconnected. Great. Cool. Awesome. Love to see that. But that's why we record, in case there's a hiccup in the stream. And we got a haunter. Hell yeah. Number caught at night. I'm not sure that counts as... Was this at night? I guess. All right. Whatever you say, game, I'll take the credit. I got a Haunter now. So yeah, the team is uh, looking. Definitely keeping you. Might keep you. Could go either way on Scyther. We'll see. Want to go Gengar. Uh, gonna try for a Sylveon, just because, you know, fairy type. Uh, Krogunk. I only have this thing so it can evolve into a Roselia and I can start researching the fucking thing. 
Uh, but definitely off the squad once I'm done researching Roselia. Uh, Pokemon to add. Uh, I do want an Ursaluna. Just because, again, I like it. It looks kind of cool. Bit busted. And I want a Perugly. And you might be thinking, hey, that's... You're lacking, like, a water type on your team? Uh, yes, you'd be right. You'd be 100% right. But I'll have a ground type, and that covers it pretty much, honestly. That you know, just takes care of most of it. Garchomp? Ah, please. Everyone uses Garchomp. Heal up your mons. Oh, yeah, it's a little, uh... It's a little more difficult in this game than your uh, your average uh, Pokemon game to heal these bad boys up. Gudra, ooh, Gudra's a choice. Maybe if I uh, maybe if I ditch Scyther, which uh, getting down. Uh. Well, no, I already have four. I want, you know, Perugly for the bit. And uh, I ditch Cypher, I can get Ursaluna. And then I've got my team. I don't need, like, you know... I don't need them all to be hot, spanking, brand new. But, you know, maybe if, like, I don't know, the uh, Haunter, uh, or Gengar, rather, sucks, or he takes forever to get, you know, run with a Gudra. A Sui and Gudra that has the fat ass. Uh, good work. Very good work indeed, Token. You got the Fragment back safe and sound. I'm well aware of Kalaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, kind of a bitch, and so on. She's given the Pearl Clan all she has. Ever since she was young, she lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. That sounds like a waste of a youth. I don't think she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team, rather. I simply think she loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm her Saluna's frenzy. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. Ursa Luna, I looked up how to get it, and it's a weird evolution, if you can believe it. I have to, like, interact with Peat Moss or something during a full moon and have a, uh, well, naturally a, uh, Ursa Ring. So, you know, a couple, uh, couple of steps there. Yo, I'm back, bitch. Ah, oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, you can come as often as you like. Believe me, I do. But it won't change my mind. Uh, yeah, I got a wall fragment for you. Or... What? You went and retrieved it from those bandits. Why would you go out of your way for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager... You're that eager to calm Ursaluna, huh? That's right. Yeah. I admit I didn't expect anyone else to truly care for Ursaluna. Well, then, let's see that wall fragment. Ah, the tale of Glub Shido. Good as new. What does it say? All loves. God, the unknown language. Uh. All lives, not loves. All lives. Uh. Glub Shido. Oh, wow, it keeps going. Let me read what it says. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> All lives touch other lives to create something new and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other like how you helped me retrieve that fragment. I've read the passage many, many times, but this time is the first time I've truly understood what it means. You're 99. That's very sad. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance. What's your name, then, girl? I see. Token. Lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to a normal state if we can just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. He's a normal ground type, right? I think. So, uh, probably don't want Pen out. Uh, normal ground. I guess Scyther? Because, uh, flying at the very least. It is good to have an immunity. Immunity. 
Pro Clan losers need to get their shit together. Wow. They're trying their best, all right? By the way, chat, if you see a tree move, uh, feel free to holler at me because uh, I'm still desperately looking for Cherim and uh, I have not found it. I've smacked so many trees that are wiggling about. Oh, God. Do you mind? What the fuck is your problem? Smacked so many trees trying to find this damn thing and it will not spawn. It is entirely RNG based from what I'm led to understand. So, you know, the more chances, the better. Hip out on, how's he doing? Hungry for blood, I see. That's the girl he pout on. Over here, token. Ursaluna is enraged, yes, but must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my PVC pipe. Here it is now. Rarg. Now you should now show your medal to Ursaluna. Remember, Ursaluna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pokemon. I will not permit you to catch him. But I want him. Uh fine. Oh, it's a battle anyway. Okay. Not a boss battle. Just a straight up battle. Alright, well then, uh Aerial Ace, I suppose. Well, damn. That sucks. I'm probably dead here in a second, so strong style that shit. Game intro? It is. It's a nice touch. Baby doll eyes. The kill is right there. What do you mean? There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh... Well, then. I mean, I guess it is... Rock Smash. Why is my best fighting move Rock Smash? Fuck me. Why is it kind of doing good? You fool, I've lowered your defense. There's been no change. Is it a guarantee defense lower in this? See, this would be perfect catching rate, is all I'm saying. Uh, I guess I'll let Eevee get the uh, kill with Quick Attack. Good experience for Eevee. There you go. Ursaluna, my poor darling, you must be exhausted after running around like that. Come, let us make you all better. The normal game is 50% chance, which is pretty high. Well, that is good. Especially for, you know, a defense lore. I have a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It's clear, it'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing the rage, this is sure to calm it down. We call it Toxagon. Bleeg! It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? It's all very strange, though. Uh, he wasn't really frenzied. Very astute of you, Galaxy Recruit. Uh, you were exactly right. When you quelled Cleavor's frenzy, I could see a strange light rising into the sky from all the way over here. But no such light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him. Nor was he glowing. And what is this cleaning to his coat? It seems like some kind of powder. Ah, this is just Pokemon's interpretation of Cocaine Bear. I see. That girl from the Diamond Clan. Why did she, of all people, find the need to come and tell me about her saloon, I wonder? Ah, but I almost forgot something important. Play your flute for me, won't you? 
You gonna touch our PVC pipes together? It's probably just moody. Terrible fucking ability. I think it's moody. The one that'll boost a random stage by two and lower it another random one by one. Ursaluna opened his heart and learned well the sound of you playing. And then he gave me a sweet plate. Thanks. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say he is digging for treasure, even if the treasure might always uh, glitter or gleam. Uh, now go and let your commander know what transpired here, Child of Galaxy team. Burr. Burr? Talking cold, or? I can call Ursaluna to dig for treasure. Rush towards treasury senses in front of him. Press Y button to dig when he finds a spot. Uh, makes him react particularly strongly. You might find something nice. Guess I should use it now. Can't catch Ursaluna, but, you know. Oh, this is like item finder? Oh, this is so useful. This is like so significantly better than alternatives. Other item finding alternatives. There we go. I feel like you could have just let me hold verse nine, whatever the fuck that means. Part of series of old poems have been unearthed. Judging from the handwriting, they were written by the same person. Well, I found one, so I don't know what you're getting off at, judging by the handwriting. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I let my memories flow on adrift upon the river. And to the ocean they will flow. Perhaps around the world they will go. How many bones and days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones and days to come? I ask that every day of my life. Will I yet see adrift to sea? While every gift at wi with which I part takes only a sliver of my heart. Alright, so let's never read another one of those. Fucking Jesus Christ. Shut the hell up, my dude. No one cares. Anyway. Man, oh man. I would love a, uh, like I said, Ursa Luna. They're big and tanky. Need a Teddy Ursa, which it occurs to me I did see ages ago when I was running around, but I'll be damned if I can remember where, what they were doing. But I suppose I did see some at some point in my life. I only enjoy seeing giant hole in the sky so often. The I was reading chat and fell in the fucking drink again. Yeah, the hole in the sky reminds you of your ultimate purpose, where you came from, and buttholes. So, you know. Three-parter there. A lot of bang for your buck with that hole in the sky. Where was... Was Teddy Grissa down here? Let's live here. Near the hole in the sky? Why not? Life can't be any worse, right? Near the hole in the sky. Nah, no Teddy Ursa over here. I seem to remember him on the banks of somewhere. Like tucked away. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? Just wait till you find another one for it. Find a big weasel. Uh, I got I got a big something I can find for you real quick if you don't uh, if you're willing to take suggestions. Anyway, ready to go back. Balden or Saluna, but also I oh something stuck to me. Oh no. It's so unknowable. Is that a Pokemon? I don't know. Come to think of it, Volo did mention there were carvings that resembled writing on the walls of the Silesian ruins. 
But supposing that Pokemon we saw is a species of multiple forms, but I don't know why you would, perhaps the carvings are likely an actual likeness to this very Pokemon. That's a wild assumption to make, having seen one of them. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species to the Pokedex. I'm going to ignore it. Guys, imagine if Unknown was good in any way, shape, or form. What's this? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in the section I've just added. And that was your arc phone I just heard. A mysterious device is reacting to this new species. I wonder what it could mean. The Y button views the cover of my... Okay, well. I don't know what button reveals the cover of my arc phone. Oh, unknown. Yep, there we go. And it says, uh... uh Whiten the sexy time west time peeps. We all we all knew it. Whiten in the set within the settlement of the time ruins. Oh, yeah. I like my version better. I got Ponyta. I got this Eevee. I got Krogunk. Got a completed Ghastly. And, uh, a Haunter, baby! Hey! We ranked up. Beautiful. They say you've earned yourself a promotion. Best report to Captain Silene. Sounds like we need to visit Diamond Clan. Sounds like we need to visit Captain Silene. For no particular reason. No idea. Oh, it did say time, didn't it? You're back! Go to the commander's office quick! Okay, I was gonna do that anyway, but sure, why not? I'd like to be promoted, please. Eugene, you beautiful son of a bitch, how you doing? Yep, that's progress, baby. I don't know why I need to show you the... You made progress! You earned yourself a star! Hell yeah. Rank three, baby! With this, you've officially obtained third star. You can now use Great Balls. Oh, finally. Up to level 40 will obey you. Uh, reliably in battle. Rewards uh, more generous. I have this for completing new recipes. Ah, Great Balls. Excellent. Apricorns, Iron Chunks, and Tumble Stones. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex. You got it. Battling with Pachirisu. Battle strategies to use with this Pachirisu. Well, it's a Pachirisu, so have you tried not using that? I say that, it did win a tournament. Pachirisu is a tournament winner. I want to say that was Wolfie that did that. A world champion, indeed. No? Oh, well, fuck. Listen, I know Wolfie and no other Pokemon champions, alright? Ash. Ash did it. Uh, no, that's Benny, 7-9. Token, we have a situation. Oh, yeah, it's a Damon. Let me explain. Lilligant, our clan's Lady of the Ridge, is in a frenzy. Oh, yeah, there's a Lilligant form in this. And Erezu knowingly kept this from me. A Lilligant? Yes, they're only female Lilligant, which makes this honored one the Lady of the Ridge. But there isn't time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out what Erezu was thinking, which is nowhere in Jubilife Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Do you serve other things at the Wallflower, Benny? Or do you know how to make one recipe and you've tricked everyone into thinking it's good? Not that I blame her, my cooking is irresistible. Ah, well, there's our answer. If Arezu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in the situation with the Raging Ursaluna of the Pearl Clan, it would lead the two clans going, get, at, going at each other's throats. Tell me, Commander, uh, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, who will you? Uh, what will your people do? We'll be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? What part of that was unclear? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. 
After all the work you put into getting us to treat one another as equals and keep from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Could always mediate rather than, uh, you know, remain neutral. Join the Diamond Clan side, right? I mean, so far, they're the more interesting. Uh, Token, perhaps you have some idea how we might address the situation. I could call Ursa Luna on my PVC pipe. So he and Warden Kalaba found you worthy? That's perfect then. Ursa Luna should be able to sniff out Arezu wherever she's gone. If you're strong enough that Ursa Luna deemed you worthy, you should be ready to quell Lilligan's frenzy as well. Heard that Lilligan's seat next to the Brava Arena, it's called. If you'll excuse me. Is that in the Meyerlands or... As well, you must quell any, uh, Sui, always remember we can make a new home without, uh, this way of strife. Sure. Do a lap around town and then, uh, for any missions and then, uh, head on out. Ah, oh, I wish I could ride fucking, uh, War Deer. For the quick, the quick lap around the village. So far, Team Diamond has been the nicest and most reasonable. Well, yeah, so far. So, okay, I do leave. I was gonna say, we last heard, uh, Arezu was sniffing around Potato Mochi. Like, do we start at the cafe, or do we actually leave the town? Based on the mission marker, uh, we ski daddle. And also not seeing any side quests, so nice. Mission said Crimson Meyerlands. Yeah, but I didn't know if we started at uh, Potato Mochi HQ and then went to Crimson Meyerlands, or if we, you know, just started in the Crimson Meyerlands. Oh, couldn't find a soul. Who needed help? Uh, t -t -t Crimson Meyerlands. The Meyerlands. That girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Benny's potato mochi. I can still smell that on her. That reminds me, I've seen Mitra's Calaba riding around the Ursa Luna she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursa Luna uses the sense of smell to suss out whatever the treasure might be. Sus. Ursa Luna now knows Arezu's scent. Follow the blue signals to find her. Okay. You can't hide, you scandalous bitch. Cross the river. Okay. Uh, there's only one way to ow handle across the river. Ha! Wow, that worked. Holy shit, that actually worked. All right, chat. I hope you're impressed because uh, I'm never getting that again on first try. Ah, over this way. God, camera is not kind right now. Oh, here you are. I found you, Faker. Oh, hi, Token. How did it go with Ursaluna? Well, as you saw by me riding up, I helped him. Thanks a bunch, girl, but how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursaluna. You tracked me all the way here by the scent of the potato mochi I ate. Ursaluna is something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still. Wow. My luck's run out, though, as you can likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. There you are, Arezu. Eek. 
Mistress Calaba, I, I didn't, I owe an apology. I treated you with disrespect thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. Sorry for that, I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my Ursaluna was enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. I was, you'd think someone who's lived as long as I would be more patient. Indeed. It's okay, I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. I just literally ran in and said, GERBLINS! And started hitting you in the face. Ursaluna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelled her perfume. Ah, he was simping, I see. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. I explained the strange power I found in Ursaluna. Powder. Uh, must have been the powder from Lilligant. What happened to your leg? I was gathering ingredients to make bombs, and I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna and learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Lavington. He told me about the bombs he used to quell Cleavor. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant, too. Her favorite food. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well, then we better take care... Where did you come from? Better take care of Our Lady and get this mess resolved. This dude just fucking showed up out of nowhere. Adamin? What were you thinking doing all this by yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? No! No one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen the Almighty Sinner with my own eyes. I failed to imagine Lilligant might have become frenzied, too. Listen up, Token. I'll take the bombs that Arezu bombs that Arezu made and meet you in Bravo Brava Arena. Uh, don't worry, Token will calm Lilligant, and that will be that. And things should settle down. Head to Brava Arena. That's where you'll find Lilligant's seat lies. Arezu will be taken care of, my dear V Barrow, and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Oh, good. Catch me now, fuckers. Ha ha ha. It's over there. Shit. Uh, I can jump up this, right? This game sucks. They're going to let me Skyrim my way up here. Okay. They also Skyrim my way back down from there, but, you know. It's the thought that counts. Okay. Well, not a lot of thought going into this, I'm noticing. Okay, well, listen. We can't all be perfect. I nearly made it up there, right? It was it was going so well until it wasn't. But now we're back where we started. Okay. Well, I really can't... I mean, that looks... Oh, for God's sakes. Fine, I'll go the long way around. Jace. Can't wait to ride Lilligant. I have no idea if Lilligant is a uh, partner Pokemon. I mean, Cleavor wasn't, right? Is it going to alternate between a uh, partner Pokemon that I fight and uh, real Pokemon? No Cleavor Mount. No, no such thing yet. Ah. <sighs> Could have checked what was in that egg, but, you know, maybe I'm a little worried about, uh, Erica. You know. Those are my options. I think it's like the, uh, beginning of, um, beginning. More the end, I suppose, of, uh, Pokemon Coliseum. The XD Gale of Darkness or whatever it is. Lots of people looking for my blood. If they could only hear the thundering footsteps behind them, they'd know it was there. I just... Okay. I got up here and my brain was like, ah, oh, hit A to collect this. And I did, but then I fat fingered to hit, hit A and B, so I ran off. It was a whole thing. I don't even know why I climbed that, frankly. I'm too over here. 
I saw a mountain and was like, I gotta fucking climb that shit. And by God, I did. Is that Teddy Ursa? No. Your shitty little crick top. I thought this was Young Goose. I was like, what? Because, like, the stripe on his back, and then it's like, oh, okay, no, it's just a pile of leaves. Go away. Leaves making me think Young Goose is in this game. What's a smoky whirlpool in the sky? That's where I fell from. Yeah, it's a dimensional gate everyone's banging on about. Anyway, no, yeah, no Teddy Ursa to be had for now. I imagine we'll be back here. Or hell, maybe they like to rest higher up in this area. Yeah, look at this fucking unit. Oh, uh, hello. Bye. I mean, what the hell? I wonder if there's a way around there. It doesn't look like it. I'm gonna have to try and sneak past the Licky Licky. Fell from what? Uh, the uh, the one, one maybe two foot uh, ridge there. Don't worry about it. Can't go any further. God, they won't let me. Uh, really won't let me go around, huh? Or they, I have to go around. They won't let me go the game-breaking way, huh? Ooh, Ralts could get yourself a Gardevoir if that's what you're into. You could also get yourself a Gardevoir if that's not what you're into. They teleport, though, the rascally fucking devils, so... Son of a bitch. Yes, you could also get a Glade if that's what you're into. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You try and kidnap a child, and it turns out they know teleporting. In my day, kids didn't have the fancy schmancy teleporting ability. They just splashed. Used metronome for a meme. There you go. Do some... Gro Whoop, that was a Pokeball, my bad. Do some... That was a berry, fuck me. Do some grown-up, non-childish things. Yeah, like attack a tree. And attack another tree. Hell yeah, I am the best. No tree within 100 miles will mess with me, unless it's a pseudo-widow, but that's not real tree, so, you know. Doesn't count. Thought, thought again I had a Pokeball out, not the, not the monster. Okay, well, it's embarrassing. Right, there we go. Now, it turns out I do want to fall off in this direction. They have Licky Licky, the absolute unit. Oh, I have to do it. Oh, for God's sakes. This one of the ones I had to do at night, or am I misremembering that? I don't think it was. Just go to the trial. I'm back here. God damn it. Oh, I know what I did. I, I went up the ruins and got distracted by the Ralts. Happens to the best of us. And even me. But how do I get around? Hmm. Oh, do I have to run out here in the... Let me look at a map. How about that? Consult the fucking map. I'm trying to get over there. Wrong button. 
trying to get over there. Looks like I can honestly head right and circle around the coastline for a bit. You're not going the right way when you got turned around? Uh, I don't think so. Uh... Nope, okay. Uh... Okay, so it does look like it's that way. I just need to be less dumb about the whole thing. I, I object to that. Can't go any further. Look at it. Ample room there. Oh, for God's sakes. I mean, I'm on the right path, but... Must be some way around I'm not seeing. I'm gonna put that path there if that's the highest I can go. So what the fuck noise was that? A stun spore, apparently. Well, if you're one know what stun source sounds like, there it is. wisp out of it, but what gives? I paid, you know, well, I don't know if I paid good money, but, you know, came all the way here to fucking at least check out Lil again, and they're like, nah, son, go away. You wish. Lil Gant doesn't have time for peasants like you. Useful. Honchcrow? Uh, well, not Honchcrow, uh, Murkrow. Dominating, at least for a time there, the meta. With his prankster ability. And Tailwind. Uh. My can burst from the other direction, keep going, and then turn around. Yeah, I got there eventually. Uh, so you've come! I take it that means you're ready. Uh, yeah. Of course I am. Would I be here if I wasn't ready? Lady Lil against a sight to see even her frenzy. Behold and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. All it took was one of my poultices to get Erezu's legs all patched up. Glob man, I'm deeply sorry we had to, uh, we've had to lean on you especially so, for help so much, especially as we're from different clans. So we can Lily Gant. You can't catch the, uh, oh, there's a wiggly tree back there. You can't catch the, uh, guardian Pokemon. Er, Arezu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she's a bit more, bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, Lady of the Ridge Lilligant is about to is like a dancer, always in motion and darting about. You want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right. Keep dodging. She might get tired, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. Let's bring it out when they're dodging. Got it. Or after they're done dodging, rather. Not while they're dodging. That would be silly. Oh, damn. Yo, those gams? Hey, girl, what up? Those legs. Lilligant. Dodging. I mean, I did that. Uh, against Ursa Luna, but yeah, sure. That was the wrong thing. All right, why is dodge? Oh, damn. Big old AoE. Ow. 
Haha, -ha, you fool! Ah, oh, you're stunned, you damn idiot. Well, uh, that didn't work. Wasn't quite stunned long enough. All right, new attack, new attack, whoop! Ow, okay, that's on me. Yeah, celebrate your hit. Well, you can. Go. There we go. Use the Y button to dodge tax. Oh, you don't say. You don't fucking say. Stun Spore. Oh, hell yeah. Avoid that shit. We're going to go Flame Wheel. Poison powder. Oh, avoid that shit. Hell yeah. This little gun ain't got nothing on you. God, it's always like... Incredibly slow moving and easy to dodge. And then she fucking hypes up the whoop the crowd that isn't there. I'd be telling a lie if I said I wouldn't be doing the same thing. You fool. Right into my well laid trap. Well, hey, I actually used the Pokemon in that fight, so, you know, making progress. Here, catch! One day they'll catch it. Alright. Big old levels up all around. Nice shoes. Receive the meadow plate. Thanks for this, by the way. Anyway, hey. Uh, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant. You saved Arezu as well. I appreciate it. First Ursa Luna, now Lilligant. You're amazing, you know that? Please use this plate to take a moment's curiosity. Being all frenzy doesn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her old graceful self. Rezu, you still owe someone an apology. Yeah, the bee barrel. Don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written on the Celeste runes? All lives touch each other to create something new alike. Uh, there's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're teachings of the almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I completely forgotten about them until a certain someone helped you remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Do, don't try and solve everything by yourself, Arezu. You're a warden of all people we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yeah, but Pokemon are way more fun to stand next to. Because, like, they can pick you up. Some of them have psychic powers. Humans smell and could have different opinions of me. You think a Pokemon cares about the geo geopolitical quagmire that is the current Middle East? No. No thoughts are running through Tangela's head, all right? Well, I can hardly start yelling about you now after Kabbalah, or yelling at you now, now that Kabbalah wrapped that up so nicely. Just one more thing. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Other than that, no need to change things, except maybe put in some training. If anything else happens to Ligand, I need you to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. 
Let's work together from now on to keep the Myrlands area safe. I'll be sure to inform uh, Iridia that both Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team have saved uh, Ernalusa. Ursaluna, excuse me, Ernalusa. You did well, Token. All different groups finally joined hands to work together. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's time for me to be on my way. You owe me. Uh, I am Adema, leader of the Diamond Clan. Or you know me, not you owe me. Very different. I'm Adema, leader of the Diamond Clan. I worship Almighty Sinnoh, ruler of time. Time's all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can simply try and help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me looking at you folks uh, will help me do that. I look forward to it. Thank you for everything. I'll stay a while and talk with Lilligant. What happened, Lilligant? How did a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not perfect, I hid things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm really sorry about everything. Lee D, as in fiddle D. All right. Okay, I gotta check the fucking. Nope, not you. Gotta check the goddamn uh, shaky trees. But chat, listen. Fucking Burmy. Chat, listen. I've had uh. Since uh, I woke up Sunday morning at like 10 or 8 o'clock, uh, I've had one hour of sleep. And I wanted to power through and do a stream. Uh, normally I do anyway, because uh, for whatever reason, the Sunday to Monday transfer, uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. Not a lot of Z's in this head. Uh, man, oh man, I am falling asleep in my chair over here. I am dying. I am nodding off and my brain is wandering and then I come back and have to remind myself of what's going on in the game and what was happening in my brain. That's where I'm going with this. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to end the stream early and uh fucking go to sleep. Cuz I'll like nod off, my brain will be like, "Oh, a school bus." And I'll wake up and be like, "Oh, I got to say something about a school bus in the stream." And uh hey, guess what? There's no school buses in the stream. At least not this time. But, uh, yeah, I'm running on fumes over here. So, uh... An alpha Murkrow? Or no, I'm just being hounded by a Murkrow. Rose oh, shit! It's Roselia. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I kind of need the Roselia for study purposes. So bear with me one second. You get back here, you... Tiny little, that was, a, that was a great ball, actually. I'm, well, yeah, you, uh, I'm battling it. Fine, whatever. Battle me, bitch. I need to catch this thing, and then I'm good to, I'm good to be done. Once I catch this thing. Maybe a little presumptuous with her great ball off the rip, but... Need this stupid thing's Pokedex entry filled out. Alright, great, got it. Don't have to evolve a fucking Badoo now. Holy shit. Excellent. Anyway, now I'm done. <laughs> that was all I was going to do. I saw that and I'm like, oh, yeah, I need that. But anyway. Yeah, short stream because I'm fucking exhausted. So half stream today. Uh, Maybe I'll make it up to you guys on Friday, maybe on Thursday, but I'm, just, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I am out. Uh, love you all. Be good people. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Sorry about the short stream. Just the the way it is. Yeah, in in my dreams, I'll visit a dad, man. That's that's the promise. Good night. Love you all. Be good people. <laughs>